mathematics and applied statistics. He has been teaching the international syllabus for the past 16 years, where most students under his wings attended various top universities like Cambridge, Oxford, and Harvard, well equipped with his top recommendation. Attendees, if you would like to your questions to be answered by a specific panelist, please include your intended panelist name in your question. Without further delay, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Maylin. Thank you very much, Ms. Karina. Good morning to all of you. Today, um, we are going to talk about Chum Parker A-Level. Welcome, everybody. Okay, um, just to let all of you know, Chum Parker offer Cambridge A-Level. All right. Um, I believe majority of you um, will know about the uh, A-Level program. So uh, I'll give you some brief introduction of uh, how Cambridge program structure. And then so after that, I'll introduce you our A-Level academic staff. And so what are the subjects that we offer over in Eastern Parker and uh, the academic support that you can get from us. We also will let you know what will be the super and extra curricular activities that Chum Parker offer. Um, we talk briefly about university application. Then we'll show you some of our track records. We will end the uh, webinar with some questions and answer. Um, do um, start asking us questions uh, type by typing in the question and answer session at the bottom of your, you know, you can click on that uh, and give and ask us question from there. Okay, let's look at uh, how um, actually Cambridge A-Level is all about. Uh, it is 100% exam based, okay? You will have two exam. One is AS exam, one is A2 exam. Um, AS will contribute 50% towards the final grade and A2 will also contribute 50% to the final grade. Okay, so both the examinations, they are very, very important. So uh, when and uh, actually when you will take all these exams, let's look at uh, this, all right? Um, if you have, um, if you go for our July intake and you go for an 18 months duration, your AS examination will be in May, June, 2023. Your A2 examination will be in October, November, 2023. But if you register the July and September intake, July intake, which is a 24 months, September intake, which is a 22 months, your exams, your AS exam will be in May, June, 2023 for both the intakes and for your uh, A2 examination, it will be in May, June, 2024, all right? So you, um, this is roughly where you are going to take the actual Cambridge exam, all right? Now, these are the subjects that we offer over in Champaka. Definitely the three sciences, uh, biology, chemistry, physics, the two mathematics, mathematics, further mathematics. And we also offer art and design, business, economics, English literature, and we also offer two languages, uh, Chinese and French. IELTS and international project qualification, they are not part of A-level program. They are all standalone certificate. Uh, I will pass later on, I will let uh, Mr. Sam talk about it more. Um, just to highlight it here, for the 18 months program, the July intake, we only offer four subjects. They are biology, chemistry, physics, and mathematics. Just uh, to let all of you know, just take notes on that. And um, I would also like to let all of you know, you can take any combination of the subjects that we offer. So you can say, I want to take uh, mathematics, biology, and dance, uh, chemistry, and then I have another subject as economics or another subject as business and so on. But uh, please do talk to us uh, before you finalize your subject. So this will be our academic staff, the A-level academic staff. We have 12 of them, okay? They are myself, Mr. Tiru, Mr. Lee, Mr. Sam, Miss Amy, Miss Chu, Miss Razan, Miss Rishma, Miss Han, Miss Jasmine, Miss the Ken, and Miss Yashu. Please, um, they are, we are all qualified teacher, at least a minimum of bachelor degree, and uh, we are all very experienced teacher. Okay, um, let's go to how to choose your subject. A lot of uh, the students, 
the main concern will be what should be the subject I take. Um, three considerations. You must take the subject that you enjoy learning. Very important. But you also need to make sure, okay, the subject that you enjoy learning, you are good at it also. All right. Um, so you will be much easier for you to understand it and easier for you to go for the examination, okay? And another thing that you need to consider will be, you also need to choose the subject that uh, meets the entry requirement for the courses that you want to go for in the universities. Now, what happened, okay, you say, teacher, I still do not know what I need to take. Now, before I go into that, okay, let's look at, all right, um, some of the uh, combination of subject you should take. For example, if you want to take medicine, the essential subject will be chemistry, biology. You can take another subject, either mathematics or physics, okay? But uh, I normally will recommend students to take mathematics, all right? Um, and the listing here, like the, you know, the uh, biochemistry, even chemical engineering uh, from um, pharmacology, okay? Chemistry, biology, and mathematics should be the subject that you look into, essential subject. But if you intend to take engineering, okay, or computer science, the essential subject should be physics and mathematics, okay? You can take the fourth, sorry, third and fourth subject, um, like chemistry and further maths, okay? As for any management subject of all right, uh, things like accountancy, banking, finance, okay, I'll recommend you definitely should take mathematics because there are a lot of calculation involved. And another subject should be economics. Uh, we also recommend you to take um, business, okay, as your third subject. And also you should consider further maths if you have intention to take actual science. Okay, so um, this will be for management subject, okay? And uh, architecture. If you have intention to take architecture, um, you should take art and design, okay? Um, I think uh, without me explaining, understand, you know, a lot of designing required. And you also need to do a lot of calculation um, for, you know, drawings and all that. So we recommend you to take mathematics and physics, okay? And, um, if you intend to become a lawyer or you want to do business studies, in fact, there is no um, essential subject that you need to take, but we still recommend you to take uh, like English literature, okay, mathematics and business studies. Okay, so um, this subjects for especially English literature and business, they train you to write and to read. It's very good for business studies and law. Okay. Let's uh, go to the next slide, okay? What happened, all right, as I said earlier, you have not decided what course you want to take over in the university. We will recommend you to take two sciences and one maths and consider the fourth subject, either economics, business or English literature. This sort of combination actually will open a lot of option uh, in future for the courses that you intend to take. Okay, and we always recommend students to take four subjects because over in the UK, although um, the number of subjects required is only three subjects to apply to the university, but you need to make sure you can score the minimum required grades to enter the university. So uh, taking four subjects will give you more guarantee. And Mr. Sam will talk a little bit more on the university application because there are certain countries will require you to uh, have four, sub four A-level subjects. So it is better for you to start off with four subjects. All right, so if you, okay, want to find out more about what are the essential subjects that you need to take, okay, um, do, visit this website, www.informchoices.ac.uk. Um, although this is uh, more um, on the British University, but um, this informed choices allows you to know what are the essential subjects you need for certain courses. All right, I'll give you a little bit of time, okay, to write down the link, okay.
Okay, without waiting, wasting your time, I will pass this to Mr. Sam now. Mr. Sam, over to you. Thank you very much, Yipeng. Okay, let me do my share screen. Hello, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Mr. Sam. I'm the uh, math and further math teacher in uh, Elevo program, Jamaica. Okay, uh, today I would like to share with you about uh, uh, what are the optional subjects that we offer in uh, Jamaica. So in Jamaica, we have IELTS, which is an English examination test, and as well as uh, international project qualification, or we call it uh, PQ. Okay, what exactly is IELTS? Uh, it's an international English language testing system. Okay, what is it for? We you need it for unity application. Uh, Cambridge A level is actually an international passport that allows you to go to uh, any uh, country in the world. Uh, among the 16 years of uh, teaching experience that I have, uh, I have uh, seen students actually going to UK, to US, uh, to Germany, to Australia, to uh, Canada, to Russia, to Indonesia, to Taiwan, to Korea, to Japan by using A levels uh, result. Okay, but various universities will have a required students to have a proof for their uh, English level. Okay, so some of the uh, most of the university actually using IELTS. Okay, as a representation. Okay, the for your information, the IELTS classes in Champaka is actually free as long as you are Champaka A level students, and uh. It will be up to the students whether they want to take the exam after the class, okay? Because some uh, university uh, require other types of uh, English uh, English language system, okay? For them, for example, like Tesla or uh, TOEFL or something, okay? So in Jambaka, we offer IELTS. The second optional subject that offered by Jambaka is International Project Qualification, or we so-called IPQ. This international project qualification is actually offered by Cambridge Examination Board. Okay, the purpose of this international project qualification is to train students to develop their research and academic writing skill. Okay, in the end of the uh, uh, lessons, students will require you to write a research paper. Okay, students have to come up with a problem a statement. Okay, and they will have to take the initiative to. Uh, uh, find the problem solving and the decision making skill. Okay, they must able to demonstrate uh, the initiative to how to actually come up with the solutions. They must able to evaluate. Okay, at the same time that the students are actually doing this IPQ uh, research. Okay, uh, we train students to uh, manage their time properly because uh, at the same time they do this IPQ, they will have to study for their A levels as well. So we don't want students to actually miss for both, okay? So uh, with this IPQ experience, okay, uh, they were able to uh, show off their analytic and the critical thinking skill, especially when it comes to their university application later, okay? Uh, for UK university or maybe some university in the world, uh, for example, Hong Kong, okay, the students are actually required to write personal statement. Okay, so the students can actually include their, uh, their research experience, uh, include them inside the personal statement to actually increase their chances to get accepted by the university. Other than the two optional uh, subjects, okay, in Champata, we also provide uh, academic support. Okay, we will train students uh, to uh, uh, study for exam uh, with uh, effective study techniques. We will train students for uh, the to take care of the exam technique, okay, in order to take care for a better result. Okay, as you can see, Champaka is actually very academic based. And in fact, a level as uh, the final level before the students actually enter into university, we would like students to actually achieve a better, the best grade possible. Okay, so uh, in Champaka, we also have tutorial classes for the students, on, and each class is actually limited to 12 to 15 students. How are the teachers in Champaka actually monitor 
okay, for the students' progress. Okay, in uh, Chepaka A level, we have uh, internet assessment as well as examination uh, for uh, inclusive of monthly topical tests. Okay, as the table shown over here, there are term examination as well as the trial exam. Okay, the trial exam is actually to prepare students to uh, take their actual exam. Okay, for the monthly test, actually, it actually helps the teachers in Chepaka to monitor a student progress closely so that we would like to detect if let's say a student's having any problems, we would like to uh, identify them or highlight to the students or highlight to the parents as soon as possible. In Chapaka, we have a tutor duty system. Okay, uh, every student will be assigned to a future teacher, which is their tutor. Okay, the tutor will the, uh, take care of them throughout the program. The tutor will monitor the student's academic progress. Uh, the, the students can always talk to the tutor about their university choices or where they want to go. Okay, uh, the tutor will write for the student's reference letter as well as the testimonial, their testimonial. The parents can actually contact tutor for emergency matters. Okay. Uh, as other than the academic progress of their, of their child. Okay, we will have parents teacher meeting, okay, as well as to provide them the monthly progress report as term and the trial exam report. Due to the COVID condition, uh, Chimpasa School will always uh, take care of the safety of the students. We will uh, impose a strict SOP to actually make sure that students have a safe environment uh, throughout the COVID uh, situation. Okay, uh, this is actually very important to make sure all students who are capable to take the face-to-face -face exam, okay, uh, especially the uh, science uh, practical examination. Okay, we will uh, require students to uh, ensure all of them to have a safe distance, okay, and use of masks. Okay, the format of the exam will be online or face-to-face. -face. We are actually currently very, very flexible. Uh, in the event that the case is actually very little, we will impose a face-to-face -face classes. As I say, have said earlier, uh, students are required to take their, uh, for the science subject, the students are required to take their practical science exam. Okay, they have to practice for their practical uh, skill. Okay, in the event that the COVID is actually very high, we will actually, students can actually change it into online. Okay, if there is a, any students who are actually required to uh, a quarantine at home, we, we will do online as well as face-to-face -face to actually students will not drop out from any lessons. Okay, of course, provided the internet is definitely is an important issue here. Okay. So we will uh, make sure students require to stay at home or actually uh, quarantine as for uh, if there is a necessary for such precaution measure. Okay. Students and can always contact uh, teachers anytime. Okay. So then we students and do not drop out from any lessons. Okay. In Chapaka, we also uh, encourage students to involve in these supercurricular activities and extracurricular activities. Over here, we would like to highlight something called supercurricular activities because there are some activities actually uh, highlighted by the top tier university that uh, is actually give students a better uh, chance to actually enter top tier university, such as community service program or debate. Uh, uh, or math or science expedition or competition, okay? We know that during this com uh, COVID condition, it's very difficult for students to uh, uh, go out, okay? Face-to-face, -face, okay? So therefore, uh, in Chempaka, we will try our best to actually uh, conduct uh, some of the activities here online so that students uh, don't have do not drop out from the experience, okay? They do not take away the experience actually uh, to experience all of these different uh, activities, okay? Definitely this will be helpful when they come to their university application later. 
In Champaka, we also uh, provide extracurricular activities, which is uh, supported by our sport and uh, performing arts department. Okay, in Champaka, we have fencing, water polo, swimming, rugby, handball, badminton, and so on. And performing arts and music, drama, and dance. Okay, so if you do have a chance uh, to visit our Facebook, uh, Champaka Facebook, you actually can see uh, how does the stu our students uh, conduct uh, these uh, performing arts uh, activities via online. Okay, during the MCO sessions. Okay, so hopefully in the near future, when the uh, COVID is actually uh, pending now, so students can actually always go back to the their favorite sport activities. As I say uh, earlier, uh, Chempaka is always uh, elevated departments always uh, very concerned about the students uh, university uh, progress. Okay. So a uh, Chempaka University admission team will actually help students for their university application. Okay, uh, uh, stu students can actually talk to the tutor or any teachers about their, uh, how to choose a university. Okay, how do they actually select the university or the program. Okay, uh, if the students actually able to uh, identify the program or the university that they want to go before they actually start at the Level that is even better because we can actually help students to identify the suitable subject they're supposed to do. Uh, for example, in order to go to UK, students only need minimum of three subjects, but uh, although that is on the writing, it's only minimum, require minimum of three subjects, but most of the students who actually apply to University of Cambridge, they will uh, use four subjects. Uh, or maybe NUS, uh, National University of Singapore, the number one university in Asia. Uh, the students actually enter NUS by using four A-level subjects instead of three A-level subjects. They have a minimum of four A-level subjects. Okay, we will provide this kind of information on the university courses for different countries, for different programs to the students. Okay, to tell them a lot about all of these different options. Okay, we will guide students to prepare for their personal statement. Okay, the tutor will be assigned to write for the uh, student's reference letter. Okay, from the past pattern, uh, students already have uh, managed to secure offer from University of Cambridge Imperial UCL as actually stated over here. But oh, not only that, Chempaka students also uh, have a chance to actually enter University of Malaya, provided students uh, uh, have SPM certificates. Okay. Uh, I will pass back to you, Ms. Maylin. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Um, okay, let us look at our Chempaka uh, track record. Uh, since 2013, we maintain 100% pass rate, and we also maintain 60% A star and A grade for our students. So um, I must say our student has done a very good job. And um, just look at the last year results and we compare the uh, percentage of uh, the subject with the world record, okay? In fact, we have done very well for our for the maths and um, business. We get 100% of the students achieving A and above. But other subjects are not that bad. Our three sciences and mathematics, we are actually way above the world percentage in terms of getting A's and A star. I must say, uh, well done students and well done teachers. Okay, let's look at uh, our previous alumni. Okay, um, Miss Sophia has already graduated uh, getting a Master of Engineering, Mechanical Engineering uh, last year. Uh, she was our 2017 valedictorian. And uh, Ms. Ching Yen also graduated with a Bachelor of Law from LSE. And uh, she will call to the bar this year, somewhere around June. Well done to uh, Ms. Sophia and Ms. Ching Yen. Um, if you want to know more about our previous alumni, not only Ms. Uh, Sufia and Ms. Chen Yen, other students also included in it. You can actually uh, watch the YouTube channel, okay? YouTube channel. 
uh, please do um, copy down this YouTube link. If you do not have pen and pa paper available, um, you can always contact us later to get the link also. I'll give you a little bit of time to copy down the link. It is a very interesting video, okay? It actually um, lets you look at how our alumni done from A-levels and how they are now in the universities. Okay, let's look at our last year uh, graduates, the top six uh, students, okay, uh, they are currently now um, um, in different universities, I would say, okay, Imran is now in Imperial College, uh, Arif is in University of Cambridge, Mikhail King College, Chloe is in UCL, Aiden is in Imperial, and Benjamin is in University of Malaya. Well done, students, and all the best to all of you. Okay, um, let's look at our intake, okay? If you want to join us for the July intake, the course will commence on the 4th of July, 2022. Please register before 24th of June. And if you want to take uh, join us in the September intake, the course will commence on the 5th of September and the registration will close on the 25th of August. Do contact us. Okay, at uh, Chempaka International School, um, you can email admissions at chempaka.edu.my uh, for um, application. And if you need any more um, information of the program, you can contact myself emailing at chempaka.edu.my. Okay, thank you very much for listening to our webinar. Now I'm going to pass the uh, webinar uh, back to. Ms. Karina, our host. Thank you, Ms. Maylin and Mr. Sam for the comprehensive information on our A-level webinar program offered in Champaka Damansara. Now, our speakers will answer some of your questions sent to us during the presentation. Okay, I'll read out the questions. Do you offer all the super curricular activities offered in the slides? Uh, Mr. Sam or Ms. Meiling, would you want to take this question? Okay, maybe I will answer. Okay, uh, so for the all the super curricular activities that offer in the, uh, that have been written down in the site is actually the compilations over the years of uh, uh, a level uh, pro program that we already run through. Okay, from some certain years, students have been actually having initiative about the to run for a certain program. Okay, so we for the um, most popular program is like for the science or the math competition or expedition. Okay, uh, the charity program is all another student's favorite. Okay, uh, most of the time we these super super curricular activities we are actually a collaboration in between of the students and the teachers initiative to actually make it works. Okay, of course we will not actually. Uh, for students to do, uh, you must do this super critical activities. We is actually we will like prefer it to actually come from students' initiative. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Hmm. Second question we had: I heard students can enter University of Malaya provided they have SPM. Is this referring to hmm. master paper only or other subjects too? Miss Mayli, do you want to take this question? Um, I think Mr. Sam, you can take these questions uh, because okay. you're more well versed on this one. Yeah. Okay. So for uh, students who, who use uh, A level to enter University of Malaya, okay. So uh, uh, let me give an example. Uh, let's say students who like to enter uh, Bachelor of Civil Engineering in University of Malaya. Okay, students must fulfill two uh, types of condition. Okay, uh, their uh, SPM condition as well as their A level condition. Okay, A level condition, they will stay in the program itself. Okay, for the uh, SPM condition, well, they, they have actually changes among the years. The latest is actually uh, students must have credits in uh, Bahasa as well as Sejarah, okay? This is the latest 
uh, requirement offered by uh, the University of Malaya. So therefore, uh, students are not actually required to uh, uh, pass the entire S uh, SPM, but in their cert, they must show credit for Basel and Sajara, as the example. Right, thank you, Mr. Sam. Second, quite, I mean, third questions. Could you arrange a sharing, sharing session with the other night and current students, please? Ms. Bailey, uh, I will, yes, I will answer this question. We will try our very best uh, be, uh, to arrange this session. Current student, yes, it's easier to arrange, but with the alumni, um, we will try our best because I actually do not want, uh, really want to disturb them uh, for their lesson. Okay, uh, we can arrange the um, um, one of the session um, for all of them. Okay, so we will try our very best, I will say. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Ms. Meiling. Okay, so far for July intake, would the I, then the IG results will be out by then, or the school, you know, end of school. Will the school use trial results for admission? I think I'll take this question, Ms. Melin. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, I'm from the admissions department. Yes, we do take trial results. And of course, the requirement is at least like five credits from the trial results. Um, I will add on that. Okay. Uh, in fact, um, um, we will look at the trial exam results also. And we will also give you advice on whether you should take certain subjects or not. For example, uh, just an example. If you have not taken any uh, mathematics uh, during your uh, um, IGCSE, um, even though you have five credits for other subjects, all right, we would not recommend you to take mathematics. So um, choosing of subjects, okay, um, we will actually um, recommend uh, or advise you what you should take basing on your interest and the uh, university courses that you want to go for. All right, thank you, Ms. Karina. Thank you. Okay, the next question. When are ALTS exam attempted in Chumpaka? Mr. Sam, do you want to take this question? I think Ms. Maylin would have better to answer for the questions. I oh, ALTS exam. Yeah, exam. okay, yeah. Um, I ALTS exam, okay, is actually, um, you have to, uh, I take the exam over in British Council, okay? We only offer the lessons uh, in school. We will help you to register. You can register through our exam department, okay? But uh, your um, the exam venue will be over in British Council, okay? So normally, uh, you will have your IELTS lesson during your AS, and after you finish your um, May-June exam, in AS, we will arrange uh, for your IELTS exam somewhere in July. Okay, unless uh, British Council is closed due to like previously the pandemic problems. Okay, some of my students have to take it during um, last round, it was November. But our normal practice is we will have our IELTS exam somewhere in July so that you have the ex exam results to apply to the university sometimes in September and October. All right, thank you, Ms. Karina, pass back to you. All right, the next question we have is, is my child is going for social sciences, which are the recommended subjects? Maybe I should take that. Okay, so uh, for social science, okay, uh, first of all, we would like to, uh, we will help students to identify the degree or the university that they want to go or even the country they want to go. Okay, for example, that uh, if let's say students going to UK for social science, okay, for any uh, subject combination, students actually uh, can e easily add into the social science program. Okay, uh, for example, like, uh, let's say uh, psychology. So psychology, the main subject is actually mathematics. It doesn't require, really require students to have a psychology uh, A-level subject. Uh, for economics, okay, for top tier university in UK, uh, they require students to have uh, economics in their, during their A-level, but 
the lower tier UK university will not actually require students to have uh, their economics during uh, A-level. Instead, they will actually make sure students to have mathematics. If let's say students want to further study in uh, Germany, okay? So uh, Germany will actually require students to have one but one from the math, one from the science, one from the social science uh, subject combination. Okay, so uh, from uh, the list of subjects that we offer in Chapaka, we actually try to provide students with various types of combinations so that the students actually can plan properly uh, according to the university or even the countries that they want to go. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Well, I have this question, this, I mean, this question, if my child does not know which degree course to study, what are the options of A-level subjects that I can choose? Um, I can answer this one. In fact, uh, uh, we always recommend uh, students to take one science subject, and, uh, sorry, two science subjects and one math, and then add another one, as I said earlier, either economics or business or uh, English literature that actually open a lot of options for them. Okay, I hope I answered that question. Thank you, Ms. Maylin. Any more questions, attendees? Yeah, there's one more. Okay, are A-levels result recognized for admission to other Commonwealth nations, for example, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada? Uh, Ms. Mailing and Mr. Sam? Okay, maybe I will answer that. Okay, A level is actually uh, an international passport to uh, various universities in the world. So, from uh, over the 16 years of teaching, okay, uh, the, where I have seen students using A level result to enter Australia, to enter New Zealand, or even Canada. All these three countries, I have my own students I actually uh, uh, enter those uh, universities. Right. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Ladies and gentlemen, any questions? Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay. What is the minimum A-level grades required for entrance into top universities in UK, example, Imperial? Ms. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. I will recommend uh, at least a 3A star, okay, um, to make sure that you secure a place over in Imperial. But a lot of the time, Imperial might ask you for an interview. Okay, so you also need to perform very well uh, during your interview to um, get your place also, but at least three A star, if you can do four subjects, all right, at least three A star and one A or four A star. I would like to add on on that. Okay, this is exactly the reason uh, uh, we provide the seminars for the uh, students, our Champaka students, to actually give them the information as early as possible during their two years program in Champaka, two years A level program in Champaka. We would want students to actually prepare earlier so they actually they know what are the subject or the uh, what is ahead of them. For example, not all the uh, program in Imperial require uh, actually uh, uh, interview, but maybe some of them will re also require exam entrance test as well. Okay, require entrance test as well. So students will have to actually prepare regardless whether the entrance test syllabus is they have learned it before or they haven't learned it before, they have to prepare it when the times come. Thank you, Mr. Sam. The next question we have, my child is not into physics, biology, chemistry, but more towards into international relations, mass comp, and, you know, and what subjects at A level he has to take. Uh, I will take that. I will recommend uh, your child to take uh, at least a mathematics. Okay, hopefully he has done mathematics. And uh, he can take English literature. 
uh, economics or even uh, one the language. Okay, we do offer French and uh, Chinese. All right, thank you, Miss Karina. Thank you, Miss Maylin. Any more questions? Okay, I have this question here. Okay, does the A level st students need to wear school uniform? Uh, I will take that. The good news from uh, most of the schools, uh, students will be, the answer is no. All right, uh, but uh, we will give you the dress code uh, when you join us, okay? Uh, but our uh, the school actually require you to wear smart casual. But definitely you do not need to wear school uniform anymore. All right. Okay, and what about the school hours? Miss Meeting, the student asked. Uh, Mrs. Sam, you can take this. Okay. Uh, for our A-level program, where we start as early as uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and end as late as 4 o'clock. Uh, but uh, not all students actually uh, take all the subjects. So they will actually enter uh, to join, uh, come into school during the class that they have. Okay. The only uh, indications uh, over here is... Uh, uh, due to COVID condition, we only allow students to uh, enter once and exit once. So uh, please check your timetable properly before you uh, want to bring for your lunch. All right. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Okay, this question, what is the application process? Maybe I'll take this because since I'm from the admissions department. All right, the application process is like we need to... Uh, you know, we need to have your IGCSE or SPM trial results. Then we will send you an online application form and then you pay the registration fee of RM250, which is non-transferable or refundable. Then we will actually review the application. Okay, and that concludes our Q&A session. If you need further information or have any other inquiries on our A-level program, please feel free to reach out via the contact options displayed on the screen. Finally, before we end this webinar, we would like to inform that this year A-level program will commence on 4th of July. Registration closing date is on closing on 24th of June. We hope you find the information for our webinar useful. Thank you once again to all attendees for joining us today. We would like to thank our speakers, Ms. Maylin, Mr. Sam, for your informative presentation and answering the questions from the attendees. Last, we hope to see you again in our future webinars. Ladies and gentlemen, stay at home and stay safe.